student, how are you? This is the last chapter, chapter 10, Space Exploration. In this chapter, there are two subtopics, 10.1, Development in Astronomy, and 10.2, Development of Technology, and its application in space exploration. Let's go to subtopic 10.1, Development in Astronomy. Ladius Photonomy is a Greek astronomer, astrologer, and a geographer. He suggests that the Earth is the center of the solar system and he developed a geocentric model. So this is the geocentric model. The Earth is the center of the solar system. Nicholas Copernicus. He is a Polish astronomer, mathematician, economist, and a doctor. He suggests that the sun is the center of the solar system. So this is called a heliocentric model. The earth rotates on its axis and revolves around the sun in a circular orbit. Johannes Kepler. He is a German astronomer, mathematician, and also astrologer. He states that the Earth orbit is elliptical according to the Kepler law, modified the heliocentric model. Now let's continue our lesson with subtopic 10.2, Development of Technology and its application in space exploration. The development of technology in space exploration started 11 century ago when the Chinese invented gunpowder and used primitive rockets in the battles. Then, in the year of 1609, the first telescope used in the field of astronomy created by a Galileo Galilei. The development of technology continued in the year of 1957, the first satellite USSR Sputnik 1 was launched. 1961, first human to orbit Earth is Yuri Gagarin aboard USSR Vasok 1. 1969, first human to set foot on the moon is Neil Armstrong, U.S. Apollo 11. 1973, first Jupiter flyby is the U.S. Pioneer 10. 1981, first flight of U.S. Space Shuttle is Columbia. 1989, the first Neptune flyby is by the U.S. Voyager 2. 1919, U.S. launched a Hubble Space Telescope from the Space Shuttle Discovery. 1996, Malaysian satellite Miasat 1 and 2 was launched. In the year of 2000, Malaysian first microsatellite Tiungsat 1 was launched. Two years later, in the year of 2002, the National Space Agency or Agency Angkasa Negara was established. 2011, the construction of International Space Station or the ISS was completed. Now let's see what are the importance of the application of technology in space exploration. The Space Telescope the astronomical sextant is used to measure the altitude of a star. Galileo telescope became the most widely used astronomical instrument. Hubble Space Telescope was placed in an orbit 500 km from the surface of Earth. The Spritzer Space Telescope detects very distant activities in space. Apart from optical telescope, radio telescope are also used to detect radio waves from space. Refractive telescope, reflecting telescope, use lens and mirror respectively to take and send photographs of outer space. A rocket. Rockets are used widely in space exploration. The hydrogen liquid here is used as a fuel. This hydrogen liquid will combine with the oxygen inside the combustion chamber. It will be burned and produce a hot gases and released at the high speed through the bottom of the 
rocket. So this is how rocket produce a force which push the rocket to move upwards. Rockets that used to send human to space. Vascoque, Redstone, Atlas, Vascot, Titan II, Soyuz, Saturn 1B, Saturn V, STS, Long March 2F, Falcon 9, SLS, Angara 5P, and Atlas V. Satellite. The first satellite Sputnik 1 was sent to the outer space in the year of 1957. There are several types of a satellite. Weather satellite is used for the weather forecast. Navigational satellite is used to help ship and the airplanes to determine the position of the GPS. Environmental satellite is used to survey the world resources such as the location of the forest. Communication satellite is used to receive the calls of a mobile phone, radio, and a TV. Military satellite is used to help to improve the defense and security. Space probe. A space probe is a spacecraft that gather information and send it back to Earth. Space probe do not orbit Earth like a satellite, but travel further into and out of the solar system. Space probe doesn't carry astronaut. It carry a cameras, remote sensing instrument, as well as a radio transmitter and receiver for the purpose of communication with scientists on Earth. Remote sensing. A remote sensing is a method of gathering and recording information from a distance. It is a man-made satellite that study the condition of Earth from the space. In Malaysia, remote sensing instruments are fitted to Tiongsat-1 to receive or detect visible ultraviolet infrared lights produced by objects on the surface or below the surface of Earth. Space Shuttle Space Shuttle Transport Astronaut launches a satellite or probes, explore other planets. Rocket can use only one time, but Space Shuttle can be used many times. Well, congratulations student, we just finished studying all the science chapter in Form 3. Please continue doing your practice and see you again in next class. Bye!